welcome to Tech Thursday, where we take a closer look at some of our favorite features on our modules. Today we're taking a closer look at the HALT input on filter 8, which is a gate input that causes the filter core to freeze. In this patch we're using uh, two filter 8s, one on the left as an audio oscillator, one on the right as an LFO. And this one is currently in HALT mode. If I flip the switch up, Now you can hear the effects of the uh, of the LFO. I can freeze at any moment. Turn it up. And what's nice about this feature is that the filter will always continue to oscillate from the point where it left off. So, unlike a track and hold, you're never getting any sudden jumps in voltage at the end of the hold period. We can gate control this feature. And now the LFO will only be enabled for one step in our sequence. And the rest of the time, it's simply holding the value and giving us these intervals. Now, hold can also be used at audio frequencies. And because the hold input is a gate input with a Schmidt trigger internal, that means that it can take just about any analog signal you can think of. For example, the core output of a Generate 3. You've got one cable going from the core to the hold input on our audio oscillator filter 8 and now if I turn on the switch you can hear it has uh, quite a dramatic effect on the timbre because what's happening now is that we are interjecting these periods of uh, steady voltage into the sinusoidal waveform and that's giving us a lot more harmonics we can play with the frequencies And you get these uh, FM type sounds from it. And of course, if you want. we can ping the filter instead of just doing some uh, steady oscillation. And of course we can ping the filter instead of keeping it in steady oscillation. Now what's important to note is that this kind of audio rate halt modulation will also change the frequency of the oscillator being modulated. Since we are interjecting these uh, additional steady periods into the, the actual oscillation period.
And keep in mind that this type of hold modulation will also change the frequency of the filter 8 being modulated. Since we are essentially making the oscillation periods longer by adding these hold periods. And of course, the hold input is a gate input, not simply a trigger input, like the sync on a generate tree. So it's a kind of sync that's duty cycle dependent. And changing the length of the pulse width of the hold modulation will also change the timbre and the frequency. That's it for today's uh, Tech Thursday. Don't forget to like, subscribe and do all of the social things. I hope you enjoyed this brief look at Holt modulation on Filter 8. For more details, have a look at the user manual on our website and see you next week. <laughs>